Hello, my name is William Lewis Humbuckle Jr. Thank you for watching and listening to this program, Real Answers for Real Issues. Today, we're going to talk about marriage. If you are not married, if you want to be married, if you want to know how to make marriage work and last, we're going to talk about a little bit of that on this program. For so many people, it seems like a such a far concept. And for those who are married, we're like, what in the world is going on? How do I deal with this person? They're getting on my nerves. I had it you know, one way, now I got to do this, and it creates some disharmony. And if you have children, it can affect the kids, but truly marriage can work. Marriage can be a great thing. One of the problems we have is it's not almost like it, like it wasn't or how it used to be where you had grandparents and parents that were married for 30, 40, 50, 60 years and you saw it in a home and you kind of modeled it and you kind of knew what to do and how to make it. Therefore, when you got married, you had a chance. But sometimes today, you talk to people, they're on their third marriage, they're on their second marriage. They don't want to be married. They're married. They're not happy. They're married and separate. They're married and cheating. They're married and doing who knows what. Well, if you know anything about us and the heart and sincerity of, of our website or TV programs, you know we just got to keep it real and we got to give you honest to God truth. The very, very, very first thing, if you want marriage to work, you want marriage to last. And even if you're not married, if you want to know how this thing works and how you can have a successful relationship for years to come, the very first thing you got to do, and this is what starts it all. This is the real answer. It's this thing right here. It's your mouth. When I was first married, we've been married since 2003. So I used to talk and say some ignorant stuff. I want to say the other word, but I can't because I, I learned to grow a little bit. But I said some ignorant baloney crap. And I wonder why it wasn't working. I wonder why are we arguing all the time? Why are we not having more peaceful days than, than bad days? And it all started with my mouth. Relationships, marriages, the foundation for every good marriage and every good relationship starts with your mouth. If you say good things, you're going to get good things. If you say jacked up things, you're going to get jacked up things. And let me give you a little history lesson. Very simple, very elementary. Um, the very first book um, that you'll read, if you read the Bible, is Genesis. It talks about the creation. It says, in the beginning, day one, God created light. He said, let there be light and there was light and he said it was good and it says like evening in the morning was the first day imagine if we took that same principle and we applied it to our marriages to our relationships and said you are a good person you're going to grow into an even better a great person and I am glad and it is good and it is well for us to be together. Some of y'all, when I said that, you was like, hey, no, I'm not saying about, about this joker. This joker's a fool. He ain't doing nothing right. How are you going to say he's good? How are you going to say this is going to be well? 
when it's not well? Well, the foundation for building a good marriage and a good relationship is your words. And it builds from there. So you got to learn, I had to learn how to stop speaking negative words to my partner, start speaking positive things, and it grew into exactly what I wanted because I had to change my words. And there's going to be times when you're going to be frustrated. There's going to be times when you're not going to be happy. There's going to be all kinds of times, but you got to push past that, like a push up, push past it, push past the ignorance, push past the foolishness, push past the some of the things you be like, uh-uh, I can't push past that. I got to deal with that. This joker done did this. Nah, I got to deal with it. But push past the small things because they truly are irrelevant and you can speak kind words and produce a better outcome. And that will be your foundation for a good marriage. And if you're not married, that will be a foundation for a good marriage and a good relationship. And oh yes, by the way, we, me and my wife, even though she's not here, but she's here with me on the cover. We have a book together and it is called Marriage Nuggets. And in this book, it's 30 days and 30 of the most critical foundational elements of marriage and relationships. This book we have sent to so many people and consistently they have said it's gotten better. We're going out. We're dating now. We're doing different things. And we've gotten such positive to response because it is our mission to bring marriage and relationship back. We're going to be the MIB agency. Whatever it takes to get you back with the person or to get you with the person you're supposed to be with and get you to a happy relationship. That is what we're going to do. And oh yes, by the way, if you would look right here on day one, the very first thing is what I told you. Only speak positive words to your partner. And we have challenges in here as well as a life lesson. When you get up in the morning and you get your cup of coffee, there is a little lesson that you can read that will encourage you and inspire you to take on this new challenge, to apply it to your life, to apply it to your relationship, and to make marriage last. This is our mission. This is why we MIB. We're making marriages last. Me and my wife, we've been married since 2003 and we're still going and we're still going strong. And she ain't put me outdoors yet, so I'm still doing good. So guys, you can get this book on Amazon, Amazon Kindle, and you can get it on our website, hornbuckles.org. And it'd be a great gift um, to give to your partner or give to someone you know who may not be having the best time in their relationships. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little program of Real Answers for Real Issues. I'm William Hornbuckle. Thank you for watching and listening. Goodbye. Thank you.